Span switch port analyzer is a great tool used at looking at traffic on other ports. So in the olden days, in order to look at traffic on another port, you would use a hub or a passive tap. But in the modern day, you want to use Span, which is a great Cisco tool. So it allows you, for example, to copy the frames of one port to another one, out another. And that allows you to, again, in its name, analyze, look at the frames for all kinds of different reasons, whether you're running, trying to run a firewall, IDS, or you just need to see what's going on on that port. So it's pretty easy to set up. So all we're going to do is make this a source and then put that as the destination interface here. So we want to see what kind of traffic Twilight is looking up and we want to put it out fast Ethernet 3, which will go to Derpy, the IT admin. So we want to see what's going on in our network on that port. So let's go ahead and configure it. So all I have to do is monitor session and then just give it a number. It has to be the same as the destination, so you can have different sessions. You can have multiple sources going to one destination. So we'll do source, interface, fast ethernet, checking two. So that'll be our source. So by default, that includes RX and TX. So on a switch, you can set if you want the TX going out those frames, or if you only want the RX, the frames coming in through that port, copied to the destination. Or you can have both. So, pretty easy, simple, simple enough. Nothing to it. Monitor, session, same as the other one. One, destination, interface, F0 slash 3. Now, this port won't work as a normal switch port anymore. Can't use it for the internet, can't use it to forward out frames, stuff like that. It's only used now to copy from any of the sources those frames, whether you set TX, RX, or both. And that's it. So we can do do show monitor session all. So we can see this one show command. You can see both. So RX and TX for port through. 2 is being sent to fast ethernet 3 or we can also use detail haha <laughs> big spell rod spell rabble no. session 1 detail there we go so we can see in more detail that both are set as rx and tx for the source ports on fast ethernet 2 and it's going out fast Ethernet 3. So really nothing to it. It's set up two commands. That's pretty much it. Now that we have that set up, let's go ahead and test it. So let's go to our laptop, the IT admin. So let's log in. Open up Wireshark. So actually we're going to stop this. We're going to close out. We're going to open up a new Wireshark wire session, <laughs> and we're going to take a look. So now we're monitoring for any frames. Our interface is set to promiscuous here. For the IT admin, we're going to start sniffing the network. Now we're going to go. So Twilight's logging in, and she's doing her daily thing. So she's logging in, going to different sites, and one of them breaks company policy so she's looking up some naughty naughty videos online on a company network and we're just taking a look like oh look we can see all the frames being copied it's working so let's search for DNS so What's going on on this port? So we know this user, but what is this user up to? 
Oh my gosh. They're so fired. 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 <laughs> so you can see all that traffic coming in and out of that port. It's being near to ours, which is really cool. We don't need to use a hub, passive tap, none of that. It's just the span that's running. That's really awesome. Let's go back and let's test it some more. So what else what else is she looking up that breaks our policy? She's going on to Yahoo. Ew, they're always getting hacked with something. So gross, so gross. Who goes to Yahoo? I mean, come on, really? So we can see it's pinging 206. Let's go to our machine. Let's scroll down. Let's clear the filter. Go down. Look at that. Echoes and replies, 206. We're actually seeing that traffic. That is so awesome. So let's go back and kill it. So let's see what happens if we get rid of the destination. So now that we know it works, we're monitoring traffic. It's actually fairly easy. I was surprised at how easy it was. Just two commands and that's it. It works. It's pretty cool. So let's go ahead. While it's doing a continuous ping, let's go ahead and kill it. So let's do a few up arrows. Let's say it's no longer the destination. Look at that. We don't see those pings anymore. Now it's acting as a regular switch port. Look at that. Spanning tree protocols flowing through that port. It's doing its thing. I can see the light is actually amber. I'm looking at the switch right now. It's turning into a regular switch port now that we disabled it. Look at that. It's pretty cool. We don't see the pings anymore. As you can see on that other machine, we're still pinging, but we're not seeing that traffic because it's no longer a destination port. That's the Twilight Machine. This is the Derpy Machine right here. The Derpy Machine. So we're the IT admin. We're back to normal. So we don't want to see another user's traffic. We already know they're going to Yahoo. So that's a security risk. We already know they're looking up naughty bits. So they're so fired. We're going to let our boss know about that. <laughs> All in a day's work for an IT admin. So I hope this was helpful. And thank you for watching.